I don't believe that General Kelly mischaracterized. Um, he gave his account of what took place. Um, General Kelly and his family have made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. I think he's led with honor and integrity. I think he's doing a great job of chief of staff, and I don't think he has anything to correct or apologize for. In October, uh, April, rather, of 2015, I was still on active duty, and I went to the dedication of the new FBI field office in Miami. And it was dedicated to two men who were killed in a firefight in Miami with, against drug traffickers in 1986. And a congresswoman uh, stood up, and in the long tradition of empty barrels making the most noise, stood up there and all of that, and talked about how she was instrumental in getting the funding for that building. Everyone said, that's impossible. It takes at least eight months to a year to complete the process through the House, the Senate, and to the President's office. And how she took care of her constituents because she got the money and she just called up President Obama and on that phone call, he gave the money, the $20 million to build a building. I went to the Speaker, Speaker Boehner, and I said, Mr. Speaker, I need your help. The president signed the bill into law this past Tuesday. It is a miracle, to say the least, but it speaks to the respect that our Congress has for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. She sat down, and we were stunned. Stunned that she'd done it. Even for someone that is that empty a barrel, we were stunned. Will all men and women and first responders who work in law enforcement stand up, stand up now so that we can applaud you and what you do. Stand up. We are proud of you. We're proud of your courage. 